Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? Wow, you are looking beautiful right Our play now. button, honey. That light is looking good. Show us, open it up. So guys, I filmed Taylor's reaction because he's always wanted the play button. And I filmed his reaction on TikTok. You'll have to go watch it. But look at this. What a beauty. Should we take it out? This is because of you guys. All because of you guys, not because of us, but because of who? You guys. You Damn, guys. That's literally <laughs> y'all, see? That's y'all. We literally love you with all of our heart. Taylor, like. I used, guys, I used to watch unboxings of play buttons. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world, so. Well, the funny part to me is that I feel like he's always wanted a play button, but his goal was to never, like, do YouTube. Taylor never, I don't think you ever thought you were going to do YouTube. Guys, I had no intention of having a YouTube channel, but I always wanted wanted a play button does that make sense like i just wanted the play button and then sophia started doing the social media thing taking videos of me and it just downhill from there or no, uphill up uphill but it, yeah uphill uphill's the the word so but we really just wanted to say thank you to you guys because like literally it's because of you guys here, and here. we're so thankful it's really not about the play button honey. it's about you guys and jesus yes that's the only reason we are where we are the only reason and we got a play button in general. So all glory to God and thank you guys. Yay. We love you. That's so amazing, honey. What a great big milestone. Like seriously. Huge. We started social media in June. end of June. End of June of, of 22. Mm -hmm. So it is now January of 23. So it's just crazy. Just crazy. And we are so I'm pretty sure thankful. I have a clip in my phone when we bought our first camera. Yeah. And I said, here, when you get your play button, watch this. But anyways, guys, we literally love you guys so we much. We literally love you. We're going to think of all of you every time we see this and just cry because we love y'all. Love you guys. Yeah. Okay, Taylor just found the clip that we took. I'm gonna put it in here, but what's funny about it is that we said we were buying the camera in September. That clip, we ended up going back and buying the, the camera. The next day. Yeah, the next day. So anyways, we'll play it here. Go ahead. Right Say what's up, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? This is uh, 2022. This is 2022, what is it? July. July. Um, we're gonna buy our camera in September, so. Yeah, them, you two. We'll see if we're famous. <laughs> okay. <gasps> that has me dying. That is so funny. Okay, we're not. I would. We say, were in Best Buy. Yeah, no, we're not famous. Yeah, famous isn't the word. <laughs> I don't um, know why Taylor said that. But we did get a play button. So. But we did start YouTube. Like that was when. So we said July. We started TikTok the last week of June. And so like we weren't planning on doing YouTube really. So yeah, that like was that just. All. I mean, not that we weren't planning on it, but we ha we weren't even really planning on doing TikTok. Like yeah. we just started posting, and that was like a week later. We were like got excited and stuff. So that's crazy. That's crazy. We love you guys. Literally, it's you guys that got us here. Yes. So we love, love you so much. Okay, you guys. So a little bit more serious topic now. Serious note. Um, on a serious note. So, anyways, we have something to share with you guys. So. The reason we're really, we thought to share it with you guys is because with, with upcoming, pregnancy, yeah, like, like upcoming, once we're married and yeah, stuff, obviously, you know, they probably were just like, <laughs> oh, oh, obviously once we're married and everything, yeah. this is, and it's going to come up be, a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. We've never told you guys, but when I was about seven or eight years old, um, I was diagnosed with, it's called Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. It's like this heart condition. And so we'll just kind of back up how it really came about. So I was like seven or eight and I was just in um, the kitchen and I think my mom was in there. Never had anything before this, like no weird things going on. And so anyways, I was in the kitchen and next thing you know, just random, my shirt is literally moving like this. Like my shirt is just moving. And I was like, since I was pretty little too, so like my whole body, like from head to toe felt weird. Like I literally don't even know how to explain the feeling. Like it's not just like I feel my heart. I guess just since it's moving so much in my body, it's just making my whole body feel weird. And I like, I couldn't like really stand up. And so my mom was in there and she sat me down and everything and had no idea what was going on. Like no idea. And so we sat down and everything, yada, yada, yada. It was a long time ago. So I don't really remember all the details, but I guess obviously she took me to the doctor and everything. And that's when they diagnosed me 
with Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. And what that is, is basically I have an extra electrical pathway in my heart. So like, you know, you have your regular normal ones and then I just have this little extra little guy. And when that gets triggered, that throws everything out of loop and it just will cause like everything to go crazy and stuff. And what triggers it is caffeine and like being really active, you know, like moving a lot. But for the most part, like just caffeine, anything to get your heart racing, like, you know, like a normal yeah. person, caffeine will probably make, you know, caffeine's not really that great for anyone, but especially someone who's got like, you know, that. And Sophia has a problem with sweet tea. Um, so yeah, um, I was literally crushed when I was seven years old. I went to the doctor and, you know, obviously I had no idea what they're talking about. I was like, what's well, Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome? I have no idea what you're talking about. It's very rare. Like not that many people have it. And the doctor, all I remember out of all this in my little was the doctor saying, so I'm not sure how much you eat this, but you know, you got to stay away from sweet tea and chocolate. And cause, you know, when I was little, I really didn't know what caffeine was, right, you know? Right. And so they were trying to put it in simple words words for me and they they literally listed everything that was my favorite thing to eat like I was always eating sweet tea and chocolate like that was it you know no coke you can't have coke and stuff and so that's why this is really funny I used to drink coke all the time when I was little and since I had to stop having caffeine to this day coke is just disgusting to me like I'm not supposed to have it but like since I went so long without having it coke is the nastiest thing to me because I had it I don't know so anyways when I was little I had to I drank Sprite all the time just you know get like there's no, um, decaffeinated stuff like I would make pictures of decaffeinated sweet tea all the time at home like all the time anyway so long story short i also got put on a medication and i had to take it just once every day and everything and that would help and i also was a dancer like my whole life and so that was when i would really have my episodes they're just called episodes so like once i started having them when i was little i would have them like pretty often like anytime i was dancing at ballet i'd have to sit down and what you can do is when you when you have an episode it's kind of funny because i would be like in dance yeah i would be in dance class and actually like the um um, the owner of the studio he I don't know if it was that he had something similar I think it was because he was like he totally understood and he was like you got to get upside down on your head when it happens and the doctor also told me that so like one thing you can do is you take like a cold ice pack and put it on your wrist literally it'll make it stop like in just a few maybe seconds minute but another thing is getting all the way upside down on your head that's <laughs> how I'd be in class and it'd be like all right hang on stand time <laughs> get upside down on my head and stuff so anyways it was really scary and still even like when I would have those episodes my whole body just felt weird you know because you're not like moving that much I mean like, you would just see my clothes moving it was like kind of scary if you saw it the doctor basically when I was younger he was like this is something that most people grow out of at like 16 years old or something so like since you're so little we don't really want to like cut you open and do open heart surgery or really just surgery in general because you're just so little and my parents didn't want to do that it's kind of scary you know and so they're like this is something you know you'll probably grow out of at like 16 so over the years like the first few years it was would happen all the time and but I was taking my medicine and you could tell like sometimes I would be like okay I haven't had caffeine in a while I'll have caffeine the minute I'd have caffeine it would do it and so like for the most part when I would take my medicine and not have caffeine or anything and you know wouldn't be dancing or whatever it would be fine but then like I would always notice like when I had caffeine yada yada it would come back so anyways over the years though it started slowing down and so like at one point I don't remember how old I was but I stopped taking the medicine because I was like oh it hasn't happened to me in a long time like I don't need it anymore and I was fine and then I slowly I was like all right I guess I can have caffeine again so <laughs> I just started having whatever I wanted and then just with dancing and stuff it would really only happen just when I was being like super active but then again over like the years like the past ever since I've known you ever since I've known Taylor so like three years now it's probably only happened like an episode I know I've seen like two probably yeah so like probably five times um that it's happened where I've like noticed it um one scary thing though was we went to a doctor and they would always give me like little monitors to wear like especially when I would go to the gym like they'd be like go to the gym wear this and you know so we can see what's going on and stuff and like when you go to dance wear it and what was scary that scared me me was like I would go there like after I worked for like a week which was terrible guys they would one time they would just give me some to like wear but you'd have to have stuff glued all over your chest they're itchy too oh my gosh you have like these devices I felt like a robot and I would have to wear like leotards to dance you can see it all and everyone's like anyways I would wear it and when I went back I was like I had no episodes like you shouldn't find anything unusual on there and one time they told me they're like oh no you're 
you've been in like constant basically telling me that I was having episodes all the time and just not even knowing it not feeling it because you know I just thought I, I knew when I was having an episode so like I was like oh, I haven't had one but they were like no you're having it all the time and I was like oh my gosh that's terrifying basically we have talked to like all sorts of doctors like this one down in Jacksonville who's like one of the best for this specific condition and stuff and basically since it doesn't really happen to me much anymore and like I don't take the medicine now I don't watch my caffeine and it still doesn't really happen. It's probably me somewhat growing out of it, but then there's those random times when it'll just happen. So we know it's still there, you know? Um, so there's options, you know, I don't have to have open heart surgery, but they can do this little- um, Ablation? Ablation, yeah, where they go through like a vein down in my leg. thigh, leg area. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I think they can also go in through your neck, but like if you, it's such a tiny scar that I don't think it really matters, but they would go through my leg and they'd go in there and basically um, they would burn it they can I think the op they can burn it they can freeze it or they can like electrocute it I could be wrong I was talking to my mom about it she's like no they electrocute it I was like no they told me they would burn or freeze it but yeah, I know burn or freeze for sure okay so she was wrong well maybe you okay electrocute. I, I got know. it that they would burn it or freeze it there's like two different options basically I think when they get up in there they can kind of determine which one's better for you specifically so anyways I have had the surgery planned twice and canceled it twice before because again the doctor scared me and they told me that my little electrical pathway was extremely close to my SA node. Don't really know like much, um, you know, they, they like drew out pictures for me and they showed me everything and I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense and everything. But basically like, you know, if you've had the picture drawn out, I wish I could like upload something for y'all to see and everything. Most people's aren't like in that spot, but mine just so happened to be like right there next to it. And so it makes it risky to go in there and burn it or freeze it because if they were to happen to touch the node it could basically cause issues to where I would have to have a pacemaker for the rest of my life like pacemaker inside of my chest sticking out type thing don't want that obviously you know if it was like life or death um I will take the pacemaker but anyways they scared me and of course like when I was young I was like I don't want that and so like the risks they're not really that high but when they told me that mine was super close to the node I was like oh so anyways, talked to more doctors, talked to more doctors, and they basically told me, since you aren't having episodes much, you're fine. Like, you're fine. If anything ever happened one day where it started getting bad again, you should just go ahead and get it. They're basically like, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, keep a, keep a good watch. So, to wrap it up, the only reason why, well, why we were going to tell you and why we said it's kind of related to, like, pregnancy and stuff we're thinking about getting the sur I'm thinking about getting the surgery before we decide to get pregnant because obviously like birthing a child is gonna be like the most stress, stress that yeah. Sophia's body has like ever seen so yep. that's what kind of her doctors were talking about too yep. was that going into a pregnancy and then having to birth a child with her condition yep. can be somewhat risky yeah um, rather than just going ahead and getting the surgery yeah. before getting pregnant or having the baby yeah um, so that then there's no really risk other than yeah the, you know, the pacemaker option, which is a possibility if it was too close to that SA node. Um, which is still better than, you know, having any complications at right. birth. Right, because then that puts the baby's life in jeopardy yeah. and then her life, obviously, too. So. Yeah, and it's still not official because I'm, I'm still talking to this doctor, the one who's, like, the best, and um, so many doctors have told me different things. Some tell me you don't need to worry about it for pregnancy. Some tell me you do, and I'm like, I don't know who to listen to. Um, so I'm still talking to this one doctor, so it's, it's still, you know, we're trying to figure it out. He's going to have me come in for like a fitness test where you know stress test stress test that's what it is i'm, I'm um, the dictionary for <laughs> sophia i just listen and I, I bounce in there i'm the dictionary they're gonna like hook me up to machines and like not just trivia. put me like a thing on me like they're going to hook me up have me do it and just see kind of you know the whole ordeal so it's not official that i'm going to get the surgery but we wanted to keep you guys in the loop so what you know we're getting married in a month and so like if we i'm just like down getting surgery in the hospital for like a heart surgery y'all aren't like oh my gosh and you what? have an idea yeah so basically that is it and then as well as prayers we wanted to tell you yeah. guys about that too because her health and um, safety is the most important um so also to include you guys to mention um sophia and our decision for surgery and stuff like that um in your prayers that's so sweet so yeah, so I still have it to this day. Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, you can look it up. And um, so yeah, we just wanted to keep you guys in the loop and we'll make sure to update you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll make sure to update you guys. Can I take your breath away? <laughs> yes. We'll make sure to update you guys with any, you know, future updates and if we head down to that doctor's in Jacksonville, Florida. So if we head down there, you know, we'll just keep you guys in the loop. We'll keep you guys by our side the yes. whole way and keep you updated yes. either way. So, so anyways, we love you guys. And again, we're so thankful for you guys. Like that little thing just gave me a reminder what's been hanging on the wall, how much we love all of you. Very true. And if you didn't know, it may be backwards on here, but Jesus loves you. And so do we. But most importantly, what's it say? Jesus loves you. So with that being said, if you don't know who Jesus is or haven't heard the gospel, um, there's just a need for, for Jesus. We live in a broken world um, and we're able to experience peace and eternal love through Jesus and eternity in heaven if we believe in Jesus. Um, so we just wanted to share that with you guys as well because obviously Jesus is the most important thing in our life and we are gonna pray that he keeps Sophia safe through this condition and possibilities. So we love you guys. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video. Taylor and Soph out. <laughs> <laughs>